I'm inspired by people who really look at things differently and come up with solutions that not only are um, smart but beneficial to our world. Well, it's important to be optimistic because it sure beats the hell out of being pessimistic. Um, you know, I mean, we're, all, we're always looking for hope and, uh, you know, having our dreams be fulfilled. Why would you go through this one life that you have and not live it fully? And how blessed are we that we live in a country that is like this? I have found some of my most peaceful times, the times I felt like, you know, there's nowhere else I'd rather be on the face of the earth moments have been when I'm either by the water or skiing a mountain or, you know, on an island somewhere. Coolest place in the entire world? Canada. By far. I, I have traveled all over the world. I am from the other side of the world. And there's many places that are beautiful and interesting and unique and, you know, breathtaking. But nothing I've ever seen in my life is as breathtaking as this country. I love stories about overcoming obstacles. Some of the best stories, though, for me, are people that go out into the wilderness or they're doing something extreme and you got the full force of mother nature coming down on you and it, it really can be a life or death situation. You don't want to mess with mother nature and not be prepared. So some of the stories of mountain climbers or you know backcountry skiers that have persevered and survived the elements, I find very inspiring. I love running. I love going outside and running. I, it's, to me, it's just you get to kind of pass through the environment and you get to feel good about what you're doing it, right? So it's this exercise moment, but you're really, when you run, you're really part of the city or part of the country, where, part of whatever it is you're, you know, wherever it is you're running. My favorite outdoor activity is to ski. I like getting out into the back country. I don't mind hiking for my turns. Um, I love the mountains. I often quote Margaret Mead, and her quote is that, never doubt that a small group of concerned citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. North America, what gets you inspired? Hey, North America, why don't you show us what gets you inspired?